You're back with Just a Giant Father. So, I'd like to ask you to bear with me over these next few weeks as I'm learning to edit and getting a handle on putting up the site and how to speak and the camera and the angles and working with my phone. So if you could bear with me because the next few videos will be out of order. Uh, like this one. This one is something that popped up today because I'm in trouble yet again. Why? Because I have a big mouth and I want to insert my opinion at all times. Right, wrong, or indifferent. And my wife doesn't need that. It, it adds stress. And a lot of times as men, it's not that important. Do we really need to get our point across? Do, do we really need to be right in every argument or, or in the majority of them? Is it of that detrimental difference? There are some black and white issues that are non-negotiable. But the ones that aren't, do we really have to go to that extent? So I'm going to try and fix a door that my wife has wanted to fix. Uh, see the pattern. I'm going to try it. I have a router. I have some router bits that were given to me by a friend of mine. So I'm going to see how it works because I don't really know how to do it. So this is not really a how-to. It's a how-not-to or how I do things and why I'm doing it. <clears throat> uh, but my son actually told me something rather profound. And there was a story that he had read. And it said that there was a young man who asked an elderly couple that had just finished arguing how they made up so quick. And the elderly man said, I realized that it wasn't that serious. And the young man said, but you were right. And the argument was about a chicken, whereas the older man's wife said, that's a duck. And the, the older man said, no, that's a chicken. They went back and forth and it got relatively heated and then all of a sudden it just fizzled out. This young man had been watching it. So when he asked, how did you kill the argument so quick, so to speak, the elder man said, I remembered why I fell in love with her. And it wasn't because of the difference between a chicken and a duck. So it wasn't that important. So he left it alone. Not necessarily that he conceded the point, so to speak. Not necessarily that he allowed her to be wrong. Just that it's unmanly to argue. It's so easy to lose your temper. It's so easy to argue immediately. Or be like, no, you're wrong. And I'm learning that as a man... Uh, uh, trying to be a real man and understanding what a man is, uh, the word gentleman, it's a gentle man. So there's two sides to being a man that are vitally important. And if you only have one, then you're not a man. And if you only have the other, then you're also not a man. There's, there's, there's a balance. And you need to be fierce and ferocious and protective, so to speak. But you need to be gentle and calm and loving and soothing and that balance is very difficult because for me they seem like they're on the opposite side of the spectrum where i can pick things up and put them down <laughs> it's difficult not to break them when i put them down and i need to learn that my wife is precious to me she's priceless but if something is priceless and i won't allow anyone else to put hands on it or chip it or break it or touch it then how dare I uh, and sometimes we don't realize that we're we're plucking that vase that we're hitting the very thing that we don't allow anything anyone or anything else to hit and arguing is stressful and a lot of times is it that serious is it that important or why argue? If if you're in a place where you're getting to be elevated, your your voice is raising, then that's not the position to be in. That's not the place of conversation. You've already left conversation mode. So I'm gonna do like every dumb man does and 
try and fix something and make something pretty for my wife as if that's an apology without giving her a sincere from the heart apology because of how difficult that is. <laughs> so uh, I'm also going to try and actually give her an apology. Whether she accepts it or not is not the point. I'm not good at saying sorry. So I need to give her one. I need to give her a sincere one. And even if she throws it away, It'd be easy to get in my emotions. But is that really being a man? From what I'm learning and what I'm understanding, whatever comes easy in life, nine times out of ten, just isn't good for you. So the more difficult it is, then it's my understanding the better and more rewarding it is. And the more of a gentle man I'm becoming, and more of the man that I want to be. So, sorry for that speech, but that's pretty much what I'm going through and why this video is coming before the other videos that I said were coming. So I'm going to show you a brief uh, synopsis or a brief what I'm doing and how I did it. And if you guys like me talking or if you like the actual how to or how not to's, then please let me know. But again, bear with me as I, we go through this journey on becoming a man and fixing the house so that I can do bigger and better things. So this is the door and this is the design that I want to get. What I've gotten was that. And obviously, that's too big. That's not going to work. So I need it smaller, just like this. So I'm going to use this bit and this wood that I've had that's not old, but it's definitely not new. So I'm going to try and use this and make the back section frame out for the glass that I put in and frosted, which was easy. That part was. <laughs> so I'm going to start it up and we'll see what it looks like. And again, I just got the design in my head, just trying to match it and make it the same size on the other side. Okay, so <clears throat> who knows how to make this straight? <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be this wavy. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that uh, you're not supposed to have these waves in it. I'm pretty sure I didn't want, like, ocean groove. I wanted it straight. Well, there you go. That's what you get for the picture. So I'm going to flip this onto the other side and try it again. A little bit of luck. And after that error, a failure, maybe I'll learn from my mistakes. I wish it was that easy in a relationship and in life, but we'll see. All right, so I flipped it over. Let's try again. All right. I think I figured it out. I think I need a straighter edge a straighter 
piece of wood on the bottom to get these lines out. But it does look a lot better. And it doesn't help that this is bent too. So I'm going to take this quarter inch and cut another piece, cut a strip out of quarter inch of wood and route it again. Alright, so I'm not real good at measuring. So I don't. I, I work a lot of things by sight. I can you know, measure twice, cut once. I can measure a thousand times and still cut it wrong. But I am relatively good at sight. Like some people can play music by ear. I can see things and see designs and almost recreate them and make them look good. So I, I had this old church wood from a church that went down and I didn't want to use it so it happens to be the right size so I'm going to run it through my table saw and and we'll go from there and I'll show you okay so this is what I got this is what I came up with looks about the same it's a little dark but it looks the same so I'm gonna hit the new wood now with the router, run it through the chop saw, and then we're going to put it up because this is too dark for that door. So I'm going to use the back of that and stain it, and then it should match. Uh, here we go. All right, I like this a lot better, at least the look. There are a few waves in it, but like this one, there's a nail in here that I didn't see. But uh looks pretty clean. Definitely looks like I can use it. So I'm going to chop that down and then test it out on the door. Case in point, I measured this for 12 and a half. I measured it four times. Somehow, I got ten and an eighth and the angle wrong. So I'm way better at looking at it and taking one and just putting it up against it and then doing it that way. I don't know why. I probably need to go to class on measuring or something. But I have my pieces, so I have to cut the appropriate angles and then put them in. We'll go see how it looks. So now that is the new inside of the door, I gotta stain it and it now matches the outside of the door. So you no longer see that. And that's how I do it by sight, so to speak, by the look. So I gotta fix that right there. But I get a different piece. And I gotta take those out, which I actually like better. That's what I made first or yesterday, trying to figure out how to even use the router. Uh, and like I said, personally, I like that better. But I couldn't rip out the other side because this is actually an older door. And the older door was done correctly. Um, so it was one piece. So I would have to have cut it out. And I'm not going through all that work. So, excuse the inside of the pantry. Okay. Now...
and I did that one. So I'll stain it. I will stain it and put it in. I don't know, glue or finishing nails. Probably finishing nails. And then I'll work on a project that I'm going to do next week with me probably being in trouble again. And I hope you enjoy. All right, back with me. Here we are. <laughs> Why is this so stupid? All right, back on the block. Just to try and follow. Stupid. Dumb. Back with just to try and father. Suggested to me to try and stay on topic. Very difficult seeing as how I have some things that make it difficult to stay on topic. Um, today we're going to try and fix a door. And well, first we've got to clean this. Uh, and then. I didn't finish. One sec. Okay. I had to fit. Uh, well, that's not important. All oh, right. Back with just a trying father, and these videos are very difficult. Okay, <clears throat> take 1650. Uh, here we go. Back with just a trying father, and today we're going to try and make up with the wife by doing something that we haven't done. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> Enjoy. So, quick update. If you're watching to the end, then you might as well subscribe. <laughs> but, uh, so I failed again. So, learning to be a man, trying to be a man, trying to be a better father, husband. Um, I went to apologize, but, you know, she looked at me. And I don't know if she was still angry, but it looked kind of mean. So I took it to mean that I should probably walk away, but I didn't. And so I failed again, even though everything in my mind was telling me to shut up, to say sorry, to do what I'm supposed to do. I didn't. And I just stood there looking stupid and... Then I just turned and walked away like a freaking child. That is not manly. But I'm thankful that I have the ability to see these things that I've done and am doing objectively. It'd be nice if I saw them as I was doing them or before I was doing them. It's just that we think in society today that these things are so routine and, and they're so normal and, and we've normalized it and we just go along with it and say, oh, well, you know, that's not so bad, but it is and it's inappropriate. And it's my understanding that it doesn't matter what anyone else does. What matters is what we're supposed to do. So if we're supposed to forgive then it doesn't matter if the other person forgives us. It's not a reciprocating thing that we're supposed to do. But you know, if there's no objective morality, then there's no reason to forgive anyone, in my understanding which is limited and I'm learning so if anyone has any comments to refute that or can add to it you know in my journey 
I'd like to know. Does anyone else have a problem with talking to yourself? Especially as like a man or a dude, a guy, or even a girl. Do you have problems talking to yourself? Have you ever tried to talk on camera to somebody? Because, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Random question. Yeah. I And give me a topic. If you want me to speak about something, give me a topic. Something that I've went through or something that you're going through. Maybe I'll just speak to it. I'll speak about it. As far as what I've learned and what I've been through. You know, it's nice to know, especially a couple people that commented that I'm not alone in this journey. I'm not alone in, in trying. I'm not alone in even thinking that there's something bigger than me and, and there's a reason or, or that I should be better than I am. And I'm holding myself back and limiting my own potential, maybe because I'm afraid of what I can be or how great I can be. And subconsciously, I'm afraid of the fall. So let me know if there's some topic or some project, because I have a bunch of projects. So uh, I'm trying. Oh, I was supposed to stay on topic. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to do door trim. <laughs>